I am not the most experienced DayZ player. In fact, I only have around 100 hours in game, and for a title as vast as DayZ, and a map that begs to be explored, should you stay alive long enough, there's always something new to see and something to learn. For many players, PvP is of no interest. They long for the survival and exploration to find better gear, and bump it into other players for the sense of enjoyment. Hunting and fishing are always aspects of the game where I add little knowledge, so making these DayZ videos not only helps me, but it also helps new players coming in as well. Let's jump into Generous and let's go hunting. One of the main difficulties when setting out on the hunt is knowing exactly where to find them. Animals may spawn at the same locations on a server restart, but they have literally a mind of their own and could end up anywhere on the map. When hunting deer, you're more likely to find them out in the woods or near farms and far away from civilization or what's left of it. So try and stay away from the main cities and think rural. Because deer are so difficult to find, the best and first thing to do is just to listen. You will hear them and hear their distinctive calls way before you see them in game, which gives you the opportunity to then track them down. Deer can be very skittish to sight, but not so much when it comes to sound in game, so use this to your advantage. Keep your distance and slowly make your way into the kill zone, which I would recommend is around 100 meters plus. Taking the right weapon will drop the animal with one shot, pending a headshot, so don't try and use an MP5 or a lower caliber weapon. Of course, if you miss or fail to put the deer down, they are fast, and the chance of you actually catching them and making a second shot are very, very slim. These are fresh droppings. They're actually pine cones. <laughs> oh dear. I am a professional hunter, obviously. There are so many things to do in DZ. But this is something new. 
the thrill of the hunt rather than just the thrill of killing other players. There she is. Oh, there he is. I want to make this a clean kill. I don't want the animal to feel any pain whatsoever. It has to be instant. Now, me personally, I love animals. I would never ever go hunting unless it was for culling in order to save the forest or overpopulation or from disease. I would never ever go hunting for pleasure. Killing and making an animal suffer to me is barbaric. Everybody's got their own opinion. I'm also, believe it or not, a vegetarian. And in The Witcher 3, I hated killing the dogs for fallow. It's one of the things I just did not want to do. So here we are. I'm going to wait for the right moment now. I want a headshot. I want this to be perfect. Time. To go quiet. there we have it a clean kill a buck in season and rutting probably but that is hunting in DayZ. i don't really take any pleasure in killing animals but in game there is a pleasure to be able to find hunt track down the deer and then get the kill now of course it would be a shame just to get this deer and then leave it you want to skin it take the skin sell it just make sure this is dead and take the meat and cook it on a fire. So use the meat in game. Obviously until server restarts, the animals are limited in numbers. So if you cull them all, they are all gone. I play on the Bawaf servers, purely because they've got fantastic moderators and admins on the team. They update the server often. There are many features and mods in there, such as traders, airdrops, so many things you're just gonna have to get in there and find for yourself but i will be covering other things in daisy such as fishing and well maybe i won't give it away maybe you'll have to watch and find out but i will do some beginners tips as well and some pvp and some location oversights thumbs up give us a like help a small channel survive and i shall be creating some more videos coming real soon couldn't think what i was gonna say then thanks for watching I've been Boxer Demons.